Well, this is the eve of me going on my second batch of chemotherapy. Uh, I had, I have leukemia. That's down out in 06. Last year I had colon cancer and I took the surgery and the uh, chemo. Uh, this time they it spread the liver. Now they want to do chemotherapy and then operate. Um, I'm thinking about just doing the chemotherapy and then not do the operation because I'm doing uh, medical marijuana. Uh, it's the Gorilla Glue, uh, number four, I believe it is, um, located legally here in Pennsylvania. So uh, I guess I'll do another version of this tomorrow while wow, you know, I'm hooked up to the chemotherapy machine. Currently I'm waiting for them to deliver from the University of Penn, <coughs> Penn Medicine, I'm waiting on the batch of chemo in the pump. They said I just got done this in October for the, for the colon cancer version, but now it came back as liver. Um, I'm not really too thrilled with all the, uh, the operations things, so I don't think I'm doing the operation at all. But uh, I guess we'll see, like anything else, uh, it's just something we have to do and see how it works. But with anything, I would, just my view on uh, the chemotherapy for the uh, colon cancer, it's a waste of time, it really is. It's such a slow moving disease, all the other, you know, the operation was necessary, but it's such a slow moving disease that the chemo is just gonna, you know, weaken you down right after surgery so you're better off doing it you're gonna do it, do it before and then uh, operate uh, do it in a three month three month and then check see where it's at mine it just did the whole six months straight through and I got the left the, the numb fingers my feet feel like they're sitting in a, in a cooler full of water ice water not too thrilled with that either um, you're getting um, acupuncture done to treat it, uh, medication, all the medications, none of it worked. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's slowly starting to go away. I mean, we're exercising every every Monday through Friday, I'll do like an hour walk. It's about roughly three miles in a complete circle to our uh, lower Kensington section in Philadelphia. Some people call it Fish Town. I do it basically an hour walk there, it's about three miles, Monday through Fridays. And uh, bring some, I guess, morph to the toes. Uh, hopefully, this will all be done eventually. I'm sure it will, one way or another, it's going to be done eventually. But for all my concerns, it's just I'm just hoping this is finally done. I still got to take pills for the uh, leukemia. Um, I just I'm just done with all this stuff. I wasn't going to even do the chemo this time, but I'm doing the, uh, the THC oil. So I guess like anything else, we're going to find out how this whole thing turns out, and hopefully it turns out well. Uh, I love spending time with my grandkids and all, so that's pretty much why I would like to um, stick around for a little longer. i got kids, grandkids, uh, so I just like to spend time with them. But like anything else, I guess we all have, need the will to live, and that's exactly what I want to do. So. Each step of this, I had to make a decision on what, what's going to happen next. So I guess we'll see. And tomorrow, uh, I'll be hooked up, well, hopefully my medicine comes today and I'm hooked up to chemo tonight. I mean tomorrow. And that stays in for 46 hours. So hopefully that'll be all done and over with. I'm just, just so sick of cancer. It's just It's disgusting. And it's all about what goes into our bodies, our food. Uh, mine happened to come from the bar satin. Or statin, the uh, high blood pressure medication that uh, didn't cause the leukemia, but it caused the the colon, now the liver, and there's also a nodule on my lung, which very much is uh, lung cancer. So, without all going on, I just I'm going to take on my little journey of this. I was going to do it on my last version of it, but I didn't. But I plan on doing it this version. I'll just keep doing uh, little snippets of uh, information on what's going on and how I'm making it out. 
Oh, so tomorrow, I set a vista. Well, we got my chemo today. Everything's good so far. Doing the uh, chemo, now I'm waiting for the, uh, the 5FU to be hooked up. It's supposed to be hooked up at 4.30 today. And see how it makes. This is a quick short until the nurse gets here. Well, I got hooked up in the bag. 5FU came. This is the bag, new bag there, see right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Hooked to my port. There. Uh, let me see here. This is the medicine in the pump. The end of a long day for chemotherapy, you have to put 5FU, and it'll be taken down in 46 hours, so around 3 o'clock on Thursday. And I'll probably upload this video soon. Bye. Well, today at 3 o'clock, now 1, 12, 45, 3 o'clock, I'll be taken down for my chemo. Uh, this port is really a pain in the balls, and it's really a... Uh, Especially sleeping with the bag thing connected to it, it's not really comfortable. But this is my, with this cancer, it's the second set of chemo I've gotten. Um, I don't know, you just feel a little bit more nauseous on this, more beat up. I don't know because it's the second time of running this. But we'll see you. I guess I'll talk to you when it comes down to takedown time, right at the takedown. It's usually pretty clean, pretty neat. That medicine's usually pretty good. Sometimes you're a little tardy in this one or the rival, but it is what it is. And apparently a lot more people are getting cancer over cancer, so you gotta do something about that, whether you go back to natural foods or whatever you can find. But I've found so far that acupuncture doesn't really do much, especially for like the neuropathy from the other cancer uh, medications. Uh, but I take it all back again, I definitely would never have done the uh, chemo on the first colonoscopy or the colon uh, cancer because it's such a slow moving cancer. You better off just doing the operation and calling it a day heal up. Because um, most likely you're gonna find it's probably spread to your liver or somewhere else because right now it's mine came from my colon to my liver, my lung, and I believe it's the Valsartan. So I guess I'll see you down right around, right at the takeout time. Take down time, I'm sorry. Well, all done. Take down was done. They were a little late today. They showed up at uh, 10 or 4. And they disconnected me. It was one of the old ladies, one of the ladies that came before for my uh, colon cancer. Gina, she's a pretty nice lady. Um, came, disconnected me, and got on a merry way. So this is the end of session one of my chemo. One thing good about well, one unbad thing about cancer is you know, when you get older, you get tons of these, man. So all, all you can really do is just recommend, try to eat healthy. These fast food places, and all a bit of a rat's ass about you. So just do the best for yourselves. Peace out.